All right, we're getting really close with this thing. Let's just go through, fix some of the spacing, maybe fix some of the colors. And you know, you could go back through and obviously sprinkle some of the advanced things like some of the um, behavior, like the hover behaviors. I don't think our hover behaviors are working. Maybe they are. Um, nope, so we have, to, we have to fix those. It looks like we're, we're actually missing some styles here. Um, so I'll have to go through and make sure we have those. Um, things like when we're hovering over the links, they should do a little bit of a animation there, not just a simple underline. Uh, add the slideshow back in, and then go through and add some internal pages. So for now, I'm just gonna go and try to finish up some of the spacing, and then we can feel at least pretty good about having this in a decent space. Then maybe I'll make a follow-up video about how to do some of the additional things to just kind of finish this thing up. So we'll come back over here, and I just wanna take a look here. And when I go to a section, so we see that the, the padding here is being applied in style min. Now I'm curious if they do something similar for each one of these sections. So most sections have this padding top, padding bottom of 70. So let's just universally add this in here. Again, this is being added custom here. It's not part of bootstrap or something like that. So I'm gonna grab that style and that might get us close enough to what we want. It's not gonna, I mean, we could go and write the, the 100 um, pixels to the top of this specifically too. Maybe we'll go back and do that eventually, but first let's just try to get some of the spacing correct. So I'm gonna come back here to our global spelt styling, add another global directive here. And this is for the dot section. Paste this and so we're targeting the section class and let me just save that go back over to our site and see if some of these get a little more spacing so yeah this added some spacing there these added some spacing these are definitely spacing out a little bit nicer than they were previously looks like I think there were some striping on this side between the different okay yeah so they a color striping we'd have to add a class for that um, okay so we're getting closer that's a lot better I'm not sure if that had the 3d effect oh it does okay yep I guess it does didn't even notice it before um, okay so let's come here let's first come let's fix this section a little bit more so let's get the color here so if we come back over to the section on the model site and I inspect the element there. Okay, so we have this BG light and it looks like they overrode this with an important tag. That's not great. We'll do it in this case just because it's the easiest thing to do. Um, uh, but it might be nicer to figure out a different way to override that. Anyways, for now, I'm gonna pass that in there and I'll make it global. We'll save that and come back over, reload this. I think that's the right color now. Okay, so I think that's right. And then let's take a look in here. We must have missed something here when we were doing this featured card. Well, if we did the featured card part, let's take a look. Okay, so featured card looks again like this is a overwritten style. So yeah, there's a couple of things here. So we can grab some of this information. Let's grab this. Now this does not have to be a global style because this featured card is only pertaining to this card section here, this grid section. So if we come back over to our grid, we can add an individual style section here. We can paste that style, featured card. Okay, and featured card should already have a class here, so that, that should work. And if I save that, and I come over to our site. Okay, so now we're getting the 
featured card section kind of getting close. None of the hover behavior is actually working because we need to get that from this section here. So we'll grab this as well. We'll paste that. And save it. Oops, that's the model site. Okay. Okay, so now as we hover over these sections, you notice that the little drop set shadow behind the card changes a little bit. So it looks kind of nice. What else do we have here? So this is styled a little differently. So featured card I has a little bit of styling to it. So we'll grab this. And we'll come down and we'll add it here. Save that. And again, all these styles here are getting scoped specifically to this item on this page, this component. Although we're using classes, so you already might be thinking that it would be scoped, of course, but it's being scoped specifically here. So even if you had a different component with the same class name, it would not have these styles uh, propagate over to those other classes. Go back to our main page. Okay. All right, that's getting a lot closer. Looks like some other styling's happening here. Let me just take a look. So this looks like a global style. So we'll add this one to our global styles real quick. And give it a global. Oops. Save that. That should change the style of the text here. Should make it a little bit lighter color. So let's Yep, refresh. Okay, change this stuff all over the place. Yep, because it was different up here, that's okay. And now it's up here, okay, that's good, that's good. Great. And the H4 looks like it's a little bit different here, so they limited the size on the H4, even though they already targeted that. Um, that's fine. So it's basically that difference, I think. So I can grab that. Well, we can do that as well. Um, come here and under this, we'll do another global and put this in there. Close this out. Okay, so we'll save that. Should fix this up there. Okay, so this is getting a lot better. Let's look at the striping here of these. So BG Light. I thought we had done that. Oh, okay, so we didn't add, we don't, we're not adding those classes. We grabbed one of these sections and we replicate it, so it's likely that these sections, none of them have BG Light on them. So it looks like it changes every other. So the banner starts no background color, then the section below it gets a background color, and then after that, no background color, then, what was there? That one has one, and then one below it, no background color. And the one below that has a background color. And the one below that, none. And none after that as well. So it's not quite as easy. I could do like a striping where I check if it's, you know, if it's an odd or an even one and then add the class to it. I could do something like that. Unfortunately, uh, this last one gets a little different because these two in a row both don't have the color. Um, so that's a little bit of a pain, but 
we could just go through and we could actually add to our content source whether it has the color or not. So we could do something like back in our content source in each one of these components we could say. Hmm. So I'm wondering if I want to add this to the individual component or if I want to add it to the place where it's called in index.html. Let's take a look, or index.svelte rather. So we could add it at this level, although probably not because this is not the element that we're actually targeting. We probably want to put it in the component itself. So if we're doing that, I think what we want to do is we want to put it in the fields. So for instance, this grid has background, but we knew that because there's only one, we, we made the background blue. We, we can make that more configurable in the future, but since there's only one, we're not gonna worry about it. We really need to worry about this image text block field, right? So we should just only add, and the rest of these don't have background color. So let's just target the image text block field. And in here, let's give it an additional field called background. Um, the first one is white. Okay, the next one's blue. So we can have, if it's white, we don't have to do anything. Um, so we can just leave the first one like that. And let's copy this. And the second one here, we want the background to be, we'll just call it blue. I mean, let's see. Easy way of saying it. We'll come down here for the next one. We'll make it blank again. And then for the last one, we'll do blue. So blue, save that. And then inside the image text block component, which we have to grab again, we should pull in the background and Intersection, we can set um, let background color equal white, but if the background that we're getting from the content source equals blue, then we should set the background color that we're going to be setting equal to this class value here, this background light. Maybe a better I think it'd be better if we call this background class. And we should probably leave it blank. If the background equals blue, then background class equals that. And then in here, you, you could do something like, and yeah, maybe we should put a space here. And that way we can just put background class like this and hopefully we won't have the funky spacing if it's omitted. So we'll save that, come back over here, go to our site and reload. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so now it's alternating the background classes, that's good. Very good, okay. Now, I think the big thing here is let's, we should fix the top here, like I had mentioned in the very beginning. So right here, if I come and I inspect it, the banner, it's kind of individual, but the banner has this padding scheme here. Let's just copy this and let's put it right in our component, which we didn't call banner. We actually called it hero. So it's a slightly different naming convention, but let's add this as a scope style here. So we're going to say style, put it down here and we'll paste the banner in there. Okay. Save that. And reload. Okay, it's getting a lot closer. So we're pretty close here. I mean, 
this is a acceptable, passable site. Well, I'm, the last thing I'm seeing here is we're using the default bootstrap buttons. Let's, um, let's just fix those. And then all the other updates uh, we can push into a second phase of this video. So let me just look at this style real quick. So the primary, it looks like we're doing this style override. Looks like we have a couple of overrides here. So let's just um, copy this, put it in there. So I'm gonna grab this and we'll put this in our global styles. Say global, paste this in there and just make sure that we target this, save that. Okay, so we're getting close there. And then it looks like we have some styles here. So let's grab this whole thing. This is style override again. So grab this and we'll do the same thing. Close that off, save that. And let's just make sure we get that button small override as well and we'll copy that and we'll add that here okay and we'll come back here and reload this okay now this is pretty close to our original model. We're, we're very close to the same website. So this is the original model. You scroll down, looks like this. And this is the one we just developed. And it's very close overall to being just like the model. There's some subtle things that we'd have to fix, like some colors of these links look off and some of the link behavior. So these need to be fixed. So there's some style overrides. I think that'd be better suited to break into a second video just so people can have a good breaking point here. But um, thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and hopefully you, you enjoyed this and you wanna check out some of these Plenty themes. If you wanna check them out, just go to plentico.com and just go to the themes section and you should be able to see the themes that we're coming out with. So they're coming soon. We're developing them all the time and we'll be posting them as they're ready. But check some of them out and play around with them yourself just to see if uh, you like them. And if you have any feedback for me, please just leave a comment below and I'll try to reply to it. All right, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.